Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 41 and after a bit of a hiatus we are back. Thank you so much for having patience with me while I was moving house and trying to get new Wi-Fi set up I'm in a bit of a rural rural location at the moment and beautiful as it is the Wi-Fi connections are not that great in any case we're back we will continue with the Alma series and we'll also continue with the Wine Baron series and hopefully be starting a new series very very soon. Uh, more news about that at a later stage. In any case the barley is ready for collection and we're just going to nip out to the second to bottom field and we'll get the harvest going. I've sped up play a little bit just so that you can see what we're doing. We'll try and do the thing well not it not in its entirety, but we'll give you a good indication of what's happening and how we are going about this harvest. Right, let's just get it set up. With the size of the fields that we've got now, we're going to have to consider upgrading uh, some of our equipment at the moment. Um, this harvester will be okay, but when we get to the top big field, the one that we're sort of driving towards now, that may be a bit of an issue, we might have to to start with maybe lease harvesters I think we've got potatoes in there so we're going to have to lease in every event in any event but we'll wait and see how that works out let's just get some let's get a course play set up so that we can go and organize ourselves back at the farm to get the crop in that's worked out quite nicely we'll pick up the uh, John Deere uh, I think while I'm here, let's get uh, the auger set up so that we can deliver straight into one of the silos. Not sure which one I'll use yet. I don't think I've shown this setup. Uh, let's have a look and see. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, of a kerfuffle to get it set up, but once it's set up it works pretty well. Actually, it's not that bad. It was the first time I did it when I was trying to get um, to work out exactly um, how to use it. Just got to remember it's an extremely long implement. So I think we're going to put it in the far right hand silo we're pretty much going to be delivering it straight back down to the uh, to the flower mill uh, but I don't want to be traipsing down to the flower mill all the time when we're harvesting so we'll set it up here and then we'll transfer you back down into the flower mill and get the flower going I'm pretty sure that we will be able to start thinking about buying the bakery as well so that we can uh, get full value for our flower production. Right, let's go and hiccup, hiccup, <laughs> let's go and hook up a trailer, get that down to the field, and I would imagine we won't be too far away from, uh, from having a full load waiting for us down there.
wasn't really paying attention so I'm not sure it looks like it's full down at the other end of the field which is good so we should get we should get a good harvest out of here because it was uh, I think way up in the 90s in terms of production so yep it's ready to be emptied let's get that done first load of barley first load out of the new fields as well so that's all pretty good pretty happy with that might have to think about getting a bigger trailer soon as well off he goes we'll just follow him down Shouldn't be too far before he's full again. A oh, little bit of a patch of unplanted area there. Not too worried about that. Oops, doesn't quite work. <laughs> uh, shouldn't really be driving over the other crop. I shall take myself into a corner give myself a good talking to for driving over the crops <laughs> oh dear there we go should be able to uh, drive alongside and uh, We'll sort out the corners at the later stage at the end of the... Of course this is where we had already... We, we had already... Um, harvested before we set course play on, which is not a problem. I don't think we're driving on the crop. No, just about not. We'll let it get... Let it do its thing. There we go. Normal service is resumed. Fantastic. Yes, as I was saying earlier on, um, all this will go into the to the um, flour mill and uh, at the moment all the flour is produced is going to the pizza production which is fine but uh, I think that should fill up quite quickly now um, because there will be a reasonable amount of uh, flour produced from this one field and then we've got um, wheat I think coming from the field next to this one, the field that we're driving towards now, so that'll also produce flour. So I'm thinking we'll be able to start producing bread fairly soon in the bakery. And once we start getting our sugar production from the sugar beet going, we'll be able to do some cakes there as well, and that would be good. Yeah, so there's still a lot we can do on this map. Um, really pleased with the way it's developed over the first 40 episodes. So we're not far off a full load now. Yeah, as we drive up here, you can get a fair scope of what's happening in the on the farm, all the different fields. Of course, we're going to get masses of potatoes from the field that we're driving up to now. 
it's gonna take some harvesting. <laughs> We're just about full. Not quite. Might make the bottom of this. We're in the 90s, so not too long now. We're about to go and put our first lot into the silo. There's a couple of things I've been thinking of getting. Um, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in this episode, um, we need to start upgrading equipment. Um, this John Deere has got quite a few hours on it, but I do like its power. It's been working quite well, but I think we do need something with a bit more power. And this one does have the ability to put a front end load on it so my thinking at this stage is to trade in the case um, that I've been using for feeding the animals um, and get the money that I can from that it won't be a huge amount but uh, it'll be I suppose about 90k somewhere around there and use that as a little bit of a filler and um, then we'll look for a bigger tractor maybe another John Deere 8 series or something like that but we'll, we'll look at that at a later stage but that's the thinking of that then we're going to have to look to um, upload the trailer either trade this one in on something bigger or just get something bigger and use uh, use this one just for transporting from the fields up here and then another one for um, a bigger one for taking loads from here back into town because that's going to be quite time consuming not having the flour mill or the a lot of the productions right up here. I don't want to necessarily um, discontinue the productions in the town. I think that's part of the map, it's part of the community. We need to keep that going as it is. And um, yeah, so if we can get a bigger trailer, maybe um, invest in a a big Mack truck at some stage with a nice big trailer on to to cart into town. This is quite convenient for for working on this um, on this size field. But yeah, so those are the considerations going forward. Right, so I think we've done the headlands now. Get going on the up and downs as I call them struggling a little bit to match the speed <laughs> uh, that's why it's because it's starting to get stuck not exactly at 90 degrees so this is going to do its own thing now I think it was just squaring off yeah it was it's not too bad so we'll need to meet it down at the bottom again so we can catch it on the way up there she comes Wait for it to turn around and then uh, we'll follow her up and uh, try 
try and get some e efficiencies on harvesting going. Yes, I trust everybody has uh, been well while I've been away. I must say I was chomping at the bit to get back into things by the time <laughs> everything was sorted out. So feeling quite nice and invigorated at the moment to get some more content out for you guys. I may in the future have to um, make slightly shorter episodes um, just because of the the internet is not the best where I am so I may be struggling a little bit from that point of view but we'll see we'll see how it goes it might be the situation might be fairly fluid for the next week or two as I get settled in and try to find a new routine. Of course with this harvesting going I mustn't lose sight of all the productions. I have to keep an eye open on that. But we are fairly early in June at the moment. So we'll keep plugging on with this for this episode. Got to try and keep the harvester moving. Not too many stops. That may also be a determining factor in whether we get a bigger trailer for for collecting the harvest. Because ideally, I'd like to be able to get to the to the silo on the farm and back again before the harvester fills up so we can keep it working all the time. So this is a little bit of an experiment to see how we go with this trailer. So we'll skip on down to the end again. Yeah, so production wise we are going to not build a lot more at this point in time we need to save up for a sugar plant and for a french fry plant we'll see how that goes as you may have noticed i've just kind of skip towards the end of the harvest. So far it's been working out pretty well. I've been able to get to the to the farm and back without too much of a problem. So the harvest has not really been inactive for any major length of time. Which I'm quite pleased about. Need to collect some eggs as well somewhere along the line. A couple of pellets waiting there. Of course a lot of our growth has been uh, funded by the mayonnaise production. That of course was a 
brilliant move. He says as he pats himself on the back. <laughs> uh, yeah. so let's see. Let's see if the uh, if we get back. Um, there have been one or two times where I just haven't made it back in time, but I don't think it's been too long. But this may be a little bit better because it's probably taking a bit of time to turn around as we get to the sort of end end areas of the harvest. He's still going. He's quite happy with that. So we're going to get lots of straw as well from this. Uh, this should get us uh, pretty self-sufficient for straw for the next winter season, which is of course good. So we get good, good money and good production from our cars at the moment. Our sheep are doing quite well as well. In fact, they are doing so well that we are often arriving or starting up in the morning and finding out that the there's no <laughs> room in the inn, so to speak, for the for the wool that's been produced. So I keep on trying to remember to clear in the evenings before we finish off to clear the area. So that, uh, but at the moment I tend to forget. <laughs> so we're losing a bit of production there. We have to concentrate on that a little bit, make sure that that's working properly. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long before this field is finished now. We're probably going to have to jump into the combine ourselves a little bit towards the end of this field just to quicken things up and uh, and clear the corners out. Oops, nearly went into the field. Pretty good. have to get down pretty quickly because those uh, the up and downs are pretty short now so I have to put the afterburners on on the uh, on the tractor and get on down there we go Yeah, so I think we've got wheat in this field at the top here, and then we've got... What do we have in the other two fields? I've forgotten. This is the problem of being away for a while. You kind of lose a little bit of continuity on what's happening. this up here and uh, we'll go and jump into the harvester and go and clear up the bits and pieces. So it should just be in the corners. Don't think we missed too much elsewhere. Sometimes I, w um, I wonder whether it's worth actually doing the corners and that type of thing, but I just want to see how much is left there in future with my 
I'm loath to do it. Loath to leave crops on the field. <laughs> Even if it's just a few litres. Just doesn't seem right. Uh, it's, it's not nothing, but it's not a lot. Yeah, it's a bit more on this corner, so... Yeah, it's worth it. Of course, you're spending a bit of fuel doing that, but... In America, gas is cheap. <laughs> Oops, I wonder how that got there. Well, it's all, yeah. Must have been a bit of a breeze when we were planting. There we go, let's empty it into the trailer and we'll get that up back to the silos. So this is the trip back at normal speed. Because a lot of that harvest was at two times speed. Just to get through it a little bit quicker. We did do that little bit of a jump cut, but we've got the gist I think you've got the gist of the whole harvest and how we do it. At least I hope you did. <laughs> hope it wasn't too boring. Get this offloaded. And I guess we'll need to get it all down into town. Get the uh, Flower mill operating, it's been inactive for quite a while. We didn't have a lot a lot in there to start with. Although it has provided constant flour, or we've had enough flour for the pizza production, which was our main aim at the beginning of the series, of course. Right, to end off this episode we'll just get a load down into town let's get the auger positioned nicely so that we can get the barley into the trailer we'll load up the trailer take it down into the flour mill get it offloaded there and yeah, barley nice 117,000 litres from that field not to be scoffed at. <laughs> Long time since you heard that, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Alright, let's just get this loaded. Working pretty well. Not taking too long to load up. And then we'll nip into town. Get this delivered. And that'll be a job well done, I think. Of course, we'll spend a bit of time offloading the rest as well. There we are, just about at the, at the mill. Shouldn't take too long to offload.
And as we're offloading, I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, thank you so much for your patience and waiting for the next episode. There may not be, there may be a couple of days between each as I finally get sorted out, but uh, we will be hopefully by the middle of next week back into normal routine. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, of course, and you haven't already subscribed, please do. It does help me out. Right, let's just make sure that, yeah, we've got that in there and that's all working. Once again, thank you. And cheerio.